So I've been watching this YouTuber called Indie Blue for the longest time and if you don't know who Indie Blue is, she makes these short travel videos that are so relatable and so quirky that I can't get enough of it. And I feel like, I don't know about you, but when I was in high school, I would watch these kind of travel films and get really inspired, but I never knew how to make it, nor did I feel like it was possible. This is why today's video, I actually wanted to make a Indie Blue video in 24 hours using just the most random shittiest footage, but trying to still make it good. Because if you're anything like me, I think so often we're too perfectionist on ourselves and we don't really just post things or create things because we're too afraid if it's not good enough. So today we're going to fuck all that and make a video in 24 hours. Let's go. As you guys know, we have my PBG notebook, so sorry for this self promo, but I always take notes for the videos I'm about to film. And the first thing we have is selecting the song. Um, I think the most important thing is the music. Indie Blue is iconic for her films and she's really able to show emotion. I think that's just the biggest thing I learned. So with this video, I know I couldn't do it alone. So I actually had my friend Brennan help me out. So this is us picking a song when we were in London. What vibe are we going for? Are we going for the slow-mo, dramatic piano or that's like the, banjo good vibe? There's two vibes. Okay, so we're in London. Did I tell you guys that? So does she make a London video? Let's see her video. I don't think she did, did she? Oh, Lindy, you can use our footage. We'll sell it to you. Um, we'll give it to you for free. <laughs> Please travel with me. And let's find some selections of songs. Cool pop covers that have acoustic. Okay. So, let's name a few of them. Pull the culture out here, Jade. Old Town Run! This is, this, I don't know. We can find a remix this. Or, the lyrics are a little weird. This is perfect. Okay, one more choice. Let's play Stockholm Syndrome by One Direction. Okay, so for the songs, I think we should choose from London or just a regular version of One Direction. Yeah. I don't want to get copyrighted by One Direction and their management, so let's do London if we're not going to get copyrighted from them. After we get the music, it's time to create a shot list. So as I said earlier, we are traveling and I just didn't know where to go. I think when you're in a new city, I just didn't know what to really film. So the first thing that we made was just kind of less of shots that Indy made to kind of recreate because I'm not innovative and quirky like her. So let's see what we selected. Okay, hair flip shot. Okay, back, back walking, two girls walking, looking. So we need twirling, hair touching, hair touching. Bike riding. The B-roll is a lot of just like steady. There's nothing like cinematic about it. It's just like slow-mo objects. See, not nothing has strategy, but I think there's a lot of emotion in there's a lot of, she shoots a lot of close-ups too. Yeah? How far? Do you think it's a lot of far back or all in middle or like a mixture of both? They shoot, if you watch, like they'll go wide, middle. Wide, middle, back row, right? Okay, they, they're riding something. We gotta ride something. You have to have that, like movement. Movement. Running. Riding. That. Dancing. Okay, up and down. Now we got the shot list. I'm gonna write it down. So what I'm gonna do right now, guys, is I have wide, middle, and macro shots. And right now I'm creating something called a shot list just so we have something to have context with. So for the wide shots, because we're in London, I was thinking to hit up London Bridge, the Big Ben, and some type of church um, in the flag. So I'm writing this location down for wide to establish setting. Okay, for middle shots, I wrote down dancing. I think I'm gonna even incorporate some sort of like movement. Now, last is the third type of shot, which is macro. So for macro shots, I've noticed it's a lot of laughter. Macro shots for her is, is it's mostly hair flipping. It's very organic. It's very like it's the, like maybe even creating shot list is too much, but like very just like middle, big, far back and close. And that's it. It's just a mixture of that. We just need more people because I'm assuming I'm going to be in it. Yeah, we can find people. We can find people. I think we're going to meet up today, aren't we? Yeah. Do I need to get a blonde wig or? Yeah, for sure. So let's go and get the shots. By the way guys, if you're so far enjoying this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up because holy shit, this background is not mine. I typically film in my little basement dungeon. So if you kind of enjoy this, you know, effort, I really highly appreciate it. Also, it lets me know that you like this video so I know to make more like this video. Honestly, the filming part was a little rough. Because I realized it was just me and my friend Brennan, and like I, I just noticed that Indy has a lot of friends, which I don't have. So we decided to kind of do a lot of fake laughing shots like this. <laughs> 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 and secondly, we decided to ask strangers to be in our video. Now I'm from America, 
And I don't know in the UK if strangers typically ask to film, but I did so anyways, and this is what happened. <laughs> So it took literally like 10 no's before we got like one yes. I kid you not, it was kind of difficult to find people to run and dance with on the middle of the street. But nevertheless, I kept going, got a few no's, but we got a few yeses. So with that being said, we got all the footage we needed and it was time to put it all together. Hi guys, so we're back from London. I'm actually here in Munich, Germany. So I decided to edit the video. It's still not 24 hours yet, so technically we're still in the game. So we decided to DM the artist we wanted to use for the video. I think Indy's so good at picking songs, and like you saw earlier, we picked a song earlier, and we got Mokita to answer. So yeah, he said, uh, thanks so much. Super excited to have it on our video. And I think it's super cool to reach out to artists. This is just another side thing. You get to collab with new people, and if you're like Brennan and you have a bit verified blue check mark, you might get them to open it. That's a whole other video. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm gonna go into Premiere Pro and we're gonna jump right in. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are in currently in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna load the footage and um, it's called London Day 1 and 2. So I'm gonna input all this in. Alright guys, so here is the deal. We haven't had a challenge in a while and honestly my engagement is low. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a challenge. I want this video to get, let's say, 2,000 thumbs ups. Can we do it, guys? And if we hit 2,000 thumbs ups on this video, I will DM Indie Blue with Brendan's verification mark to travel on our next trip to Europe or Dubai. So like this video. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way, guys. Um, not really. Oh, yeah, bitch. Okay. Oh, oh, this is good. All right. Now I'm going to get the next scene, which is, I feel like, just some bokeh shit. I think Indie does mix it up, but not really. There's really no strategy for this, I feel like. Oh, this is perfect right here. Just stupid laughing. Oh, this is perfect. Oh my god. Yes! This is so easy. Like, do you understand? I came from a world of like respecting Sam Colder, Taylor Cup Films, all these bitches, and then Indie Blue comes here with a banger. Okay? Oh god, undeserved. So I feel like I'm overthinking this. Like, the key of Indie is just underthinking the shots. Like, I'm thinking about like fucking, you know, where people are going, location. No. The key with this video is plain vibes. Oh, yeah. how fast is Eddie? Does she edit? Like, is it every beat? Is there strategy to it? No. <laughs> All right, guys. So I basically edited the video in like 45 minutes. Crazy shocker. But <laughs> for anyone who's a filmmaker, you guys might not know this, but I used to start with filming. Like, I picked up a camera way before I did like marketing or YouTube. Like, picking up a camera for me was like my love. And I remember when I was like nine years old, I would make short films. So like. For me, I always remembered that I would really prioritize the art of filmmaking, which AKA means like take a lot of fucking time to be perfect. So the editing process is really shocking, honestly. Like editing a video in 45 minutes is unheard of, okay? Like every one of your favorite like quirky teens edits for 17 hours, I swear, because we gotta get that cool Ken Burns. Also shout out to my editor because she probably puts a lot of effort to make this video more funny than it is. As I said before, like editing is a huge part of filmmaking and to decrease it can be kind of scary. So I just want to share this video and I haven't really seen it in a while, but I hope it's not too bad. I hope this video, uh, before you leave, you know, if anything, I really wanted to make this video to show that you don't have to feel like everything's perfect to make it good enough. What I've learned through this process is, you know, overcomplicating things, like trying to have all the friends in a shot or trying to have the best, you know, camera of the best layouts, like sometimes can be overwhelming and all you need are strangers and 45 minutes to make a decent, mediocre short film. So let's take a look at the final masterpiece. This is Brennan. So Okay, so we're gonna react to it because I, I feel- Have I even seen this? I don't think so. I don't think so. You have to see the full thing. What's a minute now? Oh, it's all black. It's been three months since I saw it. It's solid, bro. It's solid. The color helps. Yeah, it does. It does look, it's a little indie. I think I forgot to tell. Nice shot, bro. I like the shot. Shout out to the strangers. 
Honestly, it took like that first group of people were so like amazing because everyone else was absolutely fucked from Tars. Great way to put it. Shout out to this random girl. Oh yeah, she was dope. Shout out to you. Thanks to your parents actually. <laughs> no, no, I hate this. No. The tea, dude. You left that shot in there so long. No! These poor people. Oh, no, go. Go. I, 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 this guy, that's like, that was a good one. That was a good one. That's good. That doesn't feel like a minute, honestly. It feels good. No. Oh, it's good. Dude, T-Shot, by far what? T-Shot? The fucking reaction, bro. That should be a meme. <laughs> like, the, your reaction to your Who's fucking- T-Shot? <laughs> your T-Shot. Oh, T-Shot. No. No, no, no. Everyone who has watched no. this, make that into no. like a meme and post it. No, that is not okay. <laughs> Buy a PPG number right now. But it's not sponsored. Not sponsored. So I want to leave off this video, which is one more thing. And this is actually interesting because I know that I really looked up to Sam Calder and all these people because they're very detail oriented with their editing, but you have a friend who makes videos. We do. And at, so at the Nudic meetup, there's a lot of people who ask for like how to edit faster or like what do you do when you're busy and you don't, you can't post. And it's hard because when you constantly compare yourself to people who make films, um, I mean, how long does it take your friend I've been trying to, I'll put the video yeah. the below, but like, how long does it take to make a typical travel film, you'd say? Uh, I mean, that took him like three and a half months to edit. Like, edit, shoot, color grade, sound production, everything. So you can't compare like that to like that Indie Blue video that took, what, half an hour? Yeah. I mean, that took three months. I don't know if you guys are following my Instagram, which you should, but like, Brennan's trying to get into food videos, and how long does that take you? The food videos, those are great. They're like 15 seconds, and it takes like 10, 15 minutes max. The hardest part's picking the song, honestly. And I feel like this video took like 45 minutes, 30 minutes. My biggest tip is for anyone struggling, because I always thought it had to be so long, and it's inspiring to see people edit differently. So I kind of respect indie to kind of like pave the way that style, because for the longest time, I thought the only films are high production like films, and there's nothing else because no one would watch that. So if you're someone who's creating content, don't feel like you can't, you have to understand where you're trying to go in what direction because there's so many types of videos you can make. Just ask yourself like, what's like the intention I want people to feel rather than like how high production can it be? Because sometimes the mo more minimal editing can convey better emotion and has a stronger call to action. All right, bye. 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 All right guys, so if you enjoyed today's video, comment below and let me know your thoughts. Um, I don't know if this video is gonna like primarily come up to your subscription box. So if you can share it to a friend, honestly, you guys, I'll be very transparent. Um, we have been lacking in the comment section. <laughs> to the comment, comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. You guys want to be the next comment winner? I generally want to know if you have like the ability to, I don't know, learn any skill, what would it be? For me, it would be singing. Like, I want to make and film all my videos. Like if I could just, film a video and also make the music, like that would be lit. But I don't have the musical capabilities right now. All right guys, so I hope you guys can take some videos and cute little fake laughing montages with strangers too. Don't get killed. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.